activists from Sisters and Cut stormed the red carpet last mm. night in scenes that I thought echoed, you know, scenes from the film Absolutely. and history. And um, what was your reaction? Well, as you know, what we were all really thrilled. We'd made a film that was about something, and it we felt that it had empowered and enabled these women, mm -hmm. and made them feel right. Let's organise ourselves, and let's use this red carpet. It's an incredible platform, and they did. So the evening became about women's protest, which was what the film, you know, I can't, you know, we can't overemphasize how perfect it was th that for us, you know, not in terms of pushing the film, but just in terms of the press profile today is mm -hmm. so interesting, isn't it? It's not about superficialities of red carpets. No. Who exactly. looked good, who didn't, who, eh, well, let's all <laughs> judge, let's say, oh, she looked terrible, or she looked great. It wasn't about that at all. It became about something really with integrity. That was amazing. Such a powerful message. It really it? was. Yeah. We were, it was very electric. I can't, the atmosphere on the red carpet was like no other red carpet I've ever been on. Amazing. Um, so I watched the film and loved it. Um, but I think like many viewers, I was guilty of not really knowing all the facts and everything mm. that happened at the time, is that something, a problem you had as well before? I assume you did a lot of research for the film as well. I'd known a qu a quite a wee bit about the suffragettes because I had studied them at school. I was one of the okay. few people who had really okay. studied the suffragettes at school. Um, but we had an incredible resource. The production company provided us with an incredible library of literature, photographs that just helped to inform us fully. There were aspects we were all shocked by, surprised by, you know. And even just studying the logistics of what it meant to be force-fed, things like that, you mm. know. So there was much to be learned, and hopefully that just feeds into what we all did creatively on screen. You know, you only ho you hope by the power of osmosis that these things will feed into your performance. So, mm -hmm. you know, hopefully it did. It, I think it did. It was really powerful. Thank you. Um, are you hoping that the film, you know, will do more to raise awareness of, you know, there's so much still sexism around gender inequality, unfortunately. Mm. Are you hoping it will, you know... Well, we're having a conversation. You and I are sitting in here now having That's a conversation true. about it. It's really exciting, isn't it? Very. Also, you know, just the notion of suffrage, what it means to have the right to vote, not just for women, but for many people in the world, mm -hmm. you know, and, and, uh, and for young women... It's a curious time and the plates are shifting. There's a hungriness for a kickback against what has become, it seems, an obsession with many things that are reductive and unhelpful to young women's growth mm -hmm. and feeling valid and strong. And so anything that one can do, especially as a storyteller, you don't always feel very strong in that way. Mm -hmm. So it really helps you to just feel part of the machine that might make a change. And so you've got a young son. Are you mm. hoping to instill, um, you know, feminism in him and just the knowledge of equality? Yeah, equality. absolutely. I think you should always teach your children equality. Know, it's That's the simple, ideal. Isn't it? That's the quest for the kingdom mm -hmm. that we raise a generation of young people who believe, well, of course we're all, we're all equal. We've got brilliant differences, and we can celebrate them, mm -hmm. but we're all equal, and we all have a right to be here and be as much of ourselves as we can be and that uh, we are limitless. We should f be able to feel, as a young person, limitless, because it's what gets you out of your home, it's what gets you into university, it's what makes you start mm -hmm. your first job, it's that feeling that you should feel invincible. And for young people to feel otherwise is a great tragedy. Um, there's been lots of talk uh, recently about um, gender inequality in films, mm. uh, in the film industry. Is that something you know you've experienced? Or? Well, because my work is not solely in film, I haven't really experienced it in that way mm -hmm. so very much. Uh, I have great admiration for those very high-profile high young women who are really being vocal about it. You know, and I think yeah. you're at the height of your power. This is not at the end of a career in which you can look back with hindsight and say, "Oh crumbs, you know, things are not great." This is people who have the absolute power to affect box office standing up and saying, yeah. this is ridiculous, and I, and I have great admiration for them, you know, yes. because it's all about money at the end of the day. It's an industry. And so if you get people who have incredible economic power making a, a screen, then that's, that's got to be the most potent thing. No, especially with campaigns like Ask Her More and mm -hmm. No Sienna Miller um, dropping out of that play because mm -hmm. she found out her co-star um, was being paid more than her. I think it's quite brave for actresses to do that. And is yeah. that something you would do if you were in that sort of situation? Well, I'd like to think I would, yeah. I'd like to think I would, of course I would. Um, 
But, you know, look at, I love the whole notion of Ask Her More, you know, it's, it's so funny considering what happened last night. Ha ha! Yeah, I <laughs> it's perfect, I isn't know, it? it's perfect. It's got the it? whole world talking as well. I <laughs> know, so it's brilliant. brilliant. Amazing. Well, thank you so much for your time. Cheers, mate. Good to it's meet you. It's lovely to meet you too. Bye now.